In this video we share our Lord's message to Jizal Arcadia for September 17, 2024. Please, like, comment and subscribe to assist my channel in reaching a wider audience. Thank you. Here is the message of our Lord to Jizal Arcadia for September 17, 2024. Children and brothers, look at my feet in prayer and in the faith of the heart, console my heart devastated by sin. My brothers and sisters, by now the masks, as predicted, have fallen. Evil now, has no more secrets. He doesn't hide anymore. This world of sin will end soon. The era of true peace will come. You, my beloved, will be protected, but have faith. Brothers and sisters, it's useless to look for places to protect you. You don't know that the safest place is not that of the world, but my most pure heart and that of my most immoved mother. There will be no safer places where you will be protected. Listen to my voice in silence. I will talk to you and each of you will know what to do, because I myself will guide you on the right path. Worship me, seek me in the Eucharist. I will never leave you alone. I will be with you in prayer and I will bless you one by one. In the name of the Father, of my most holy name and of the Holy Spirit. Your dear Jesus. Also, here is a message from the Queen of the Rosary given to Jizala on September 16, 2024. Dear children, I invite you from today, to pray strongly for peace. I invite you to the branch abandonment to hope. I invite you to pray for the Church of Christ. Remember my children, that my Immaculate Heart is your safe haven, where you will be consoled, loved and protected. Children, come to me. Give me your hands and I will bring you to Jesus. Soon God will purify this world with the great merciful punishment. Now I leave you with my blessing, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The following brief reflection comes from Jizal Arcadia. With these words, the Mother of God makes us understand that prayer in our lives must not only assume an important value every day, but suggests that it must be recited with force. That strength that comes from the heart and soul, because only in this way can we abandon ourselves in a filial way to hope. That hope that is given to us by God, and that never disappoints. We pray with confidence for the Bride of Jesus, the Church, so that it is constantly renewed and always remains faithful to the proclamation of the Gospel. Let us humbly take refuge in the Immaculate Heart of Mary, where we will always taste her immense love that consoles and protects all of us her children. Let us put ourselves in her hands, and she will do everything for us. We will also be witnesses of God's merciful punishment. This controversial expression makes us understand that the merciful aspect of God does not clash with his justice. Punishment is an act of mercy of the Lord, because he necessarily wants our salvation, but it is we who sometimes reject it completely, even if precisely through this punishment that Jesus has suffered for us, he has saved us. The words of the prophet Isaiah help us to understand this expression, he has charged himself with our sufferings, he has endured our sorrows, and we judged him punished, pursued by God and humiliated. He was pierced for our faults, crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that gives us salvation has fallen on him, by his works we have been healed. We were all lost like a flock, each of us followed his own way, the Lord made the iniquity of us all fall on him. Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.